Oh. All right. That's a heck of a way to start a maiden voyage. Yeah. But we will, looks like we'll be making a how to repair stairs video really soon. Yeah. Let's get underway. Well, that was embarrassing. That's the first time I've uh, lost a set of steps or forgot to put anything up or out since we were our first RV in uh, what, 2003 we bought it. This is our third one. But my dad helped us get the, these were back serviceable, at least so they'd fold up. And uh, they're good enough, except for I'm afraid that we've taken a lot of strength out of them. This is this, a set that had a recall on them anyway because of some of the rivets would break. So I don't feel bad about replacing them. I'm going to start now with, uh, it just takes four, four bolts. They're carriage bolts right up, two on each side. But I can't get to them because they've got cross braces on both sides here to help this aluminum from flapping in the breeze. So I'll take these loose first, then I'll show you the bolts. The screw heads, uh, very much like most trailers, are square drive. This is a R2. Well, that's not giving me enough space. I'm going to take take the brace all the way off. There's uh, one more screw in the back. Very important. We'll want that back on. Really, you can see how she'd flop in the wind. Our Puma did not have these and it created a lot of problems for the fender skirts cracking. Since I race motorcycles, my toolkit consists of metric wrenches and sockets. I used a 14 millimeter on the nuts. This one, however, must have been put on with a monkey wrench at the factory. That guy should have had a day off instead of being at work that day. He must have been pretty hungover. But I don't want to put it back on with that one. I'll see what I can find. These carriage bolts are in there like killer tight. Kind of a bind on them. So I put a nut on there and give them a whack pop them loose. I'm going to pull the carriage bolts out now and drop her to the ground. These are about a hundred pounds. If you had a floor jack, that would be handy. All right, I'm gonna just stand clear and give it a pull. There we go. I'll use this one to prop up the, the new one and help me get it in position. It's a multiple choice bracket under here. And the sides of your steps have multiple. Well, actually they don't. They just got one square set for the carriage bolts. I read the directions and say to tie that up.
Wow, that wasn't hard. Got one on each side of the front. This is a two-man job and or if you were home with a floor, floor jack, it'd be great. So I'm gonna bolt and nut the first two. And then I'll move to the back. And it's just that easy. <laughs> it's easy if you use the right tools and have a team lift. So if you had three steps instead of the four, this would be a really easy upgrade for you if you want, if you needed the fourth step. These things operate so nice. And they're not all beat up. The uh, Four steppers bolt straight in where the threes were. We got these steps for $210 delivered from e-trailer. Uh, so yeah, so free shipping here in the continental US. Give her a try if you like. Uh, beats the heck out of paying the service fees. This all took about 15 minutes. Dispose of these properly. Thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. If you liked it thumbs down if you didn't but if you leave us a thumbs down please give us a comment and let us know what we're doing wrong so we can make it better thanks for watching <laughs>